Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will see what is a linear and non-linear system in this video. So here we will discuss the basic concept of linear and non-linear systems uh, with the help of examples. So first of all, let's see the definition of a linear system. A system is known as a linear system if it obeys the laws of additivity and homogeneity. Homogeneity is also known as a scaling. So for a linear system, it is required to follow both of these uh, laws of additivity and the homogeneity. So we can say that a linear system must hold the superposition principle. Otherwise, we will call it a non-linear system. If it is not following these laws of additivity and homogeneity, homogeneity means the scaling. We will uh, understand what we mean by additivity and homogeneity in this lecture. And uh, so it is not following the principle of superposition, then we will call it a non-linear system. So mathematically we can write that if y1t is the output that we get when we apply input as x1t, input is x1t then y1t is the output of the system and similarly y2t is obtained when x2t is applied as the input to the system. Okay? Then the rule of additivity, the principle of additivity says that if we apply x1t plus x2t then the output will be y1t plus y2t it means if we since we have uh, y1t and y2t as the outputs uh, to the x1t and x2t respectively and if we add these two inputs then the output will be the addition of the outputs okay so this is uh, the rule of additivity and the rule of homogeneity uh, which is also known as the scaling is ax1t uh, gives if we apply the input as ax1t then the output will be ay1t it means if if we scale a input by a then the output will also be scaled by a so this is known as the rule of homogeneity scaling and what is a here here a is any constant Okay, so for uh, a linear system, it is required that it should follow both the rules, rules of additivity and the rule of homogeneity. Okay, so therefore by combining these two properties, a system is linear, mathematically we can write uh, these two conditions as a system is linear system if ax1t plus bx2t gives us ay1t plus by2t this is for the continuous uh, system okay continuous time domain and similarly for a discrete time system discrete time domain a x 1 n plus b x 2 n gives us a y 1 n plus b y 2 n so the benefit of this is the superposition theorem uh, this uh, superposition property of linear systems is that uh, if if we know the output to some inputs like x1 uh, for x1t we have y1t and for x2t we have a y2t then we if we uh, just uh, add these inputs in this in this form like uh, if we scale and add these inputs that is additivity and scaling and that is homogeneity then we need not to find the output separately we can simply uh, uh, if we have the previous outputs for x, uh, x1t and x2t then we can just um, simply add and scale the outputs and can get the output of this combined uh, input so this is uh, the main advantage so here also these uh, what are these a and b these a and b are any real or complex constants okay so now we will uh, try to understand this concept of non-linearity and linearity and we will see here with the example that whether the given system is a linear system or a non-linear system okay so check whether the following system is linear or non-linear this uh, here is the system equation yt is equals to t squared x t minus 2 so i want to check we need to check uh, it uh, this uh, system for linearity okay so here let's suppose that uh, first input is x first of all x1 t input is applied to this uh, system and then we will apply x2t so when we apply x1t then the output will be here just put x1t in this equation so output is y1t corresponding to x1t y1t is t square x1t minus 2 
so this is for x1 t and for x2 t the output is y2 t t square x2 t minus 2 okay x2 just replace this x t minus 2 by x2 t minus 2 okay very simple now we will uh, apply a third input known as x3 t and what will be this x3 t this x3 t will be a x1 t plus b x2 t here we are going to check it for linearity as you can see here that we have used the property both of these property here scaling and additivity x1 t plus x2 t represents the additivity and a multiplying it with a and b shows the scaling or homogeneity so let's uh, see that if we uh, apply x3 t then the output will be y3 t so y3 t is what y3 t is equals to t square x3 t minus 2 t square x3 t minus 2 but here what is x3 t x3 t is a x1 t plus b x2 t so uh, the x3 t minus 2 would be uh, i would replace this uh, t by t minus 2 okay x3 t minus 2 so here i will get y3 t is equals to okay t square y3 t this is y3 t is equals to t square x3 t minus 2 is what from this equation x3 t minus 2 is a x1 t minus 2 plus b x2 t minus 2 so it is t square a x1 t minus 2 plus b x2 t minus 2 just to multiply this and rearrange the terms like a x a t square x1 t minus 2 plus b t square x2 t minus 2 simply just simple mathematics and y3 t is equals to so you understand here that uh, here it is uh, a and t square x1 t minus 2 is what t square x1 t minus 2 is just y1 t so it is y1 t and this b is here plus b t square x2 t minus 2 is nothing but the y2 so replace it by y2 so y3 t is the output of x3 t which was uh, this uh, uh, this input and we get output as a y1 t plus b y2 t so when we um, added and scaled the inputs then the output is also added okay y1 t and y2 t are also added and scaled by the same factors a and b okay same constant factors so this we can say that uh, this uh, system y t equals to t square x t minus 2 is a linear system as it is uh, following both the rules of uh, additivity x1 t plus x2 t and uh, the scaling also so i think you got the concept of uh, linearity of a system so in the next videos we will see another properties like uh, causal and non-causal systems stable and non-stable systems instantaneous and dynamic systems and so on so keep watching engineering made easy and if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe my channel engineering made easy and click on the like button if you liked my video thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye